What is up guys, it's me. Now, I know I had a bit of a rant saying how this season's lore is so shit and I still agree with it, yeah, it is pretty shit. But in this video, I'm not gonna talk about this season's lore. I need to talk about next season, as recently there has been a couple of leaks on it. And so in this video, I'm gonna cover them. And guys, I know I said that making videos this season is very hard, but I listened to Nick A30. I should have never backed down. I should have never gave up. I mean, this is what I want to do, and I'm gonna keep fucking doing it. Even though it's gonna be very hard to find video ideas, well, fuck it. I'm gonna find some, and I've got one for this video, and I've got one for my next video, so I'm starting to progress a bit more. But, yeah, let's get straight into the video of me covering Season 4 leaks. So I'm pretty sure we all know about the one and only Donald Mustard, who literally, like, He's one of our main sources for Fortnite lore leaks and stuff like that. And if he tweets like the most random shit ever, then it's definitely related to the zero point or the next Fortnite season. And guess what Donald did today? He tweeted an image. This is the image he tweeted and there is no caption whatsoever. By looking at this image, it looks like logs being burnt in a fire. And having no caption whatsoever, this is definitely suspicious. But what could this image mean? There's speculation that it could have something to do with the volcano literally next to Mega City. As if you remember, there were a couple of files to do with the volcano. And Akko reads this. Season 3 Volcano POI? In the battle pass, there are a few volcanoes references, although not many and not everything too significant. However, we know that there are some files related to Zero Lava somehow tied to the petrified Zero Point, take it with a grain of salt. So there is definitely something to do with the Zero Point and maybe Volcanic Ash or Volcanic Energy as it is codenamed as a Zero Lava. But something this could also tie into is the second style of the Herald, also known as Burning Ember. If you look at the Burning Ember style, well yeah, it obviously does look like the girl from Elemental, but being serious, this Herald style could be related to the image that Donald Mustard tweeted, because this obviously does look like a Burning Ember. And there is also this amazing Fortnite lore YouTuber called Mr. J-O-Y, and basically he came up with a theory about this um, situation with Donald Mustard, and honestly, it does make a lot of sense. Well, his theory is that basically um, the second style of the Herald, also known as Burning Ember, well, he theorizes that it's related to the Phoenix. The Phoenix is an immortal bird associated with Greek mythology that psychically regenerates or is otherwise born again. Associated with the sun, a phoenix obtains a new life by rising from the ashes of its predecessor. And so in other words, the phoenix has the power to be reborn, but with energy from the sun. But in this situation, well, it looks a bit like ember, don't you think? And burning ember being the second style of the herald. And take a look at the image again. Well, Donald Mustard is burning wood, well, sticks. But something else that is wood, is the Herald Tree, which is currently under the location of Creaky Compound, also known as the Luminary's Base. And in the image, it was Ember burning on wood. And so, um, this Ember can obviously realive things. So, maybe it could realive the Herald Tree under Creaky Compound. And this probably would make sense because there is a belief that the Herald used to be involved with the Luminaries by looking at the design of Mystica and her reality. And so maybe the Luminaries could use this ember on the Herald Tree to make her born again, make her real life. But guys, you gotta remember, this isn't my theory. It's actually Jay's theory. So if you wanna go check him out, then the link will be down in the description below. And also subscribe to him as well. And as next season is very much believed to be themed around the last reality, well, um, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the case. But yeah, let's move on from the Herald and get into some more recent Fortnite uh, Season 4 leaks. So I'm planning to do what I did in Chapter 4 Season 1, where um, basically I made a series of videos talking about leaks on the next season, which was Season 2 back then. So in other words, basically I'm going to do the same concept, but I'm talking about next season, which obviously is Season 4. Okay, so as you all pretty much know, well, basically Season 4 is going to drop on August the 25th, and it's most likely also going to drop at um, 2 a.m. Eastern time. And to be honest, I don't think season four is going to get delayed like um, this season did. This is because Epic Games actually have the teasers for season four scheduled. As the name of chapter four, season four, well, also the first teaser 
will be revealed on August 20th at 6 p.m. Uh, Central Time. And also, if you remember for last year's season 4, basically it was the Paradise season, well, Epic dropped some very big teasers for that, if you remember. And they were all live action just teasing the Chrome and the name of season 4, which was Paradise. But to be honest, I wouldn't really expect Epic's teasers to be live action for season 4. Well, it depends. They might be, but... We never know. And also, the hashtags for Season 4, which are hashtag Fortnite, then Season Name, and then hashtag Chapter 4 Season 4, and then hashtag uh, CH4, and then S4, which stands for Chapter 4 Season 4. And remember, these hashtags and teasers will obviously drop on um, August the 20th at 6pm Central Time. And also, the Doctor Who x Fortnite collab was expected to release next season, but no, it's actually releasing in 2024. This is to make way for the LEGO collab, which is also going to release next season as well. And well also, according to Wenzo, well, Epic accidentally added the Chapter 4 Season 4 NPC spawn files in this update, which obviously was last update. And that update being 25.20. And it includes a new Fortnite Mares boss codenamed Vampire. No other bosses are referenced. And also, Rift Counters and Animals will be staying next season as well. And also, High Card is still going to be in the game next season as chapter 4 season 4 will have radio towers landmark POYs where a version of the high card bosses will spawn. So yeah, high card ain't going anywhere, he's staying on the island. And also, Epic Games have continued to work on something codenamed Arnold, and it includes data for a Huntmaster Saber boss, an Inquisitor boss, a truck, and Act 1 to 3. And it also includes a scripted by BSHYLR and just a me. So, um, we don't really know what this means, but we'll probably find out, um, at a later date. And now, I've spoken about this a few times, but Zeke and Choppy's Raygun is also set to be unvaulted in Chapter 4 Season 4. In which, obviously, next season is gonna be themed around the last reality. I actually made a 17-minute video about it, um, go check it out if you want to. The link will be down in the description. But now, last but not least, we gotta talk about next season's live event, which will be the finale of Chapter 4. And it's gonna be codenamed Do. The event will include a black hole and will have a unique lobby and in-game animation just like Fracture did. And it is also rumoured for Sloane to have voice lines in the event as well. And ignore the bottom sentence as the date will most likely be December the 2nd. And the Durian end of Chapter 4 event has been in testing since March the 23rd. And Chapter 5 has been in testing since February. But yeah, down below is the image of what the playlist is gonna look like. And so, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that is part one of Fortnite Season 4 leaks. Hopefully, part two will come out soon, but um, we just gotta wait for more leaks on Twitter. Well, I should probably call it X. But yeah, Season 4 does look very good so far. Also, if you wanna join the Discord server, well, the link will be down in the description. And um, also, I'll appreciate it if you subscribe as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.